Uh, first off, congrats on the movie, guys. Thank, Thank you. Um, Thank you. There's, there's so much to unpack about your experiences and everything else, but I just wanted to start by what your reaction was when, when the guys came to you and said that they wanted to turn this into a, into a film. Because I can imagine there was happiness that someone was going to turn it into a movie, but also are they going to do it in the right way? Mm. Well, we have had this um, conversation over a period of eight <laughs> years or so. So it's not something that just landed in our laps uh, spontaneously in the last three years. It, it's gradually um, come to this point and with lots of ups and downs. And we're really pleased with this final um, production because, you know, it, it's really all that we could have hoped for. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's right. I mean, I, I should pay tribute to all the people who've tried to get this film made over yeah, the years. Yeah. So, you know, we've had different producers come to us, different directors. You know, the the the, the original script by the Bernsteins was you know was a was a, a great thing when that arrived, and so the amount of goodwill around this story has just been really moving. Mm. But this final version of the film is, as Catherine says everything we could have hoped for. It's very accurate. It's it's absolutely as close to real events as it could possibly be. And for us, that was very important. And mm -hmm. in fact, we just wouldn't be here doing this if, right. it, if it wasn't absolutely how things happened. Yeah. And I guess having someone like Gavin on board who had made Eye in the Sky a few years ago, which was another very important film and raised a few very yeah. important mm -hmm. discussions. I mm -hmm. guess having him, you kind of had the sense that he would do, as you say, do it in the right way and, and give it a thriller aspect but also tell it in as real a way as possible yeah and i think he's done a great job you know and um really a testament to his skills mm -hmm. yeah i mean that's that's absolutely right but of course his previous films have have been fictions mm -hmm. they yeah. may have been based on on a kind of reality mm. so there was still a certain amount of nervousness about mm -hmm. how he would treat this mm. uh so so when he came to us and said look, this has to be how it really happened. I am going to interview you over a process of days to make sure that I really understand this story. Uh, we were hugely relieved by that. Mm. Yeah, and all of that kind of comes off the screen. I can mm. imagine, I mean, what was this the experience back then like for, for you both? I can imagine it was quite a terrifying time at the best, you know, throughout all of it, but also that you both knew that you were doing the right thing and that this had to, this was something that had to be said. For me, it was a terrifying time. Um, and I suppose there were moments where you were pretty um, fraught with tension and nerves. Yeah, it was a very difficult time within that newsroom. Mm. But I mean, that has nothing compared to what Catherine was going through. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an it's a, a important film for many ways. And we, we get a lot of these now. Where there's, I saw the report recently, which is very American, but also mm. you know a subject that needs to be told. And there's things like the laundromat about, the, about finances and stuff. How important is it that these movies are being told now and that they're raising discussions that maybe should have been had kind of back then. Well, one of the reviewers talked about um, films like this almost being the fifth estate to the media's fourth estate, that there's a particular place that big uh, movies can play within the establishing of historical facts. Uh, and I think that's true. I think there is something that a film can do that a new story can never do. However big and however important that new story is, however, um, uh, whatever the effect that that investigation has, there will still be people who will see a movie when they will never have read a newspaper or never have seen a news report. So I think there's a terrible responsibility that comes with that. And, mm. and that's one of the things that I know that Gavin was very aware of, that this was, this was yes, a thriller, but it was also important to establish it as a historical document and as a, as a piece of journalism in itself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he had to keep, you know, because all the people in the film are still alive today, you know, he had to pretty much annotate the entirety of the script. So the annotations are almost as long as the script <laughs> itself. Yeah. How much time did Kira and Matt spend with you both? I can imagine they spent a bit of time at least, but I know Kira in particular has played a lot of people from history and everything mm -hmm. else spent a lot of time in her process to, to make sure she gets them right, you know, Colette last year and mm -hmm. now this. I can imagine they both spent some time with you, but how important was it for them as actors to sit with you and, and find, you know, make sure they told it in the right way? Mm -hmm. Well, Kira wanted to meet with me and, um, and I'm pleased because it was, you know, it was really exciting to meet her. Um, and 
you know, we didn't spend, at, we spent two hours over lunch one day and she just, um, you know, asked me some really good questions. She'd obviously done a lot of research on her own and I was really impressed with her, you know, her perception on things. Um, but she'd obviously done, you know, her, in her own time, there's quite a lot of stuff available online already that she could go through and research. And, um, and I think her um, decision to not do an imitation of me um, was absolutely the right one because I think there's nothing worse than seeing a bad imitation of somebody on film and you know and and I'm not like somebody that everybody's familiar with so it you know I think it gives a she gave a really um, in-depth emotional um, performance which I think wouldn't have happened if she tried mm. to mimic me yeah, with Matt it was it was a different process uh, we spent a lot of time together on set because I was consulting about the newsroom scenes. And so we got to know each other quite well in that time. Of, you know, and he was, he was, I think, more interested in getting across the psychology of, of me as a journalist, the intensity of the experience and uh, the, the, the kind of terrible tension that was happening in that newsroom at the time. So, I mean, that was that. And I think that comes across in the film. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!